When making your equipment selections for the movable control point, uh, your ferry lines need to be as wide as the river is, or as long as the river is wide. Your river up and river down line, depending on how many mechanical advantage components you rig into it, needs to have the ability not just to be as long as the river is wide, but to also be as long as the distance is from the track line orientation or the anchor points are down to the victim's location. If you put the two to one mechanical advantage on the nose of the boat, then you're gonna to have to double that length. So if our river is 100 feet wide, the river up and river down line would need to be at least 200 feet at a minimum just to accommodate um, going across the river as well as the river down, the river up, and then any additional mechanical advantage components. Steel rings, pulleys, um, you need a progress capture component at your haul system for the track line, and then you need to bring redundant or additional hauling capacities into sink control devices for your ferry lines and for your up-down lines. Okay, so step one in establishing the movable control point is to deploy a crew to the opposite bank. Once they get to that side, um, they're ready to receive a messenger line or they're going to take lines across with them. So just like establishing our two-line tether or our four-line tether, the primary objective is to get the track line built. So if you don't have the ability to line launch, then this boat or this craft in their first deployment over to the far side, they need to take the tail of the track line with them. When they get to the far side, they'll establish that high strength tie-off or an anchor point for that track line. While the near side guys are building their mechanical advantage anchor component to receive that, high, that track line and get it tensioned up into place. The other piece of gear that that crew should take with them is their ferry line. It doesn't need to be trailing out or tended on the near bank, it just needs to be taken with them so that as soon as we get the track line in place, they've got that step already knocked out so they can attach that to the boat and be ready to go. Okay, in this application, we're going to use a messenger line and a line deployment system uh, as opposed to fairing lines across. We're going to deploy this messenger line. Once the far bank guys receive it, then we can clip things onto the midpoints or to the tails and start shuttling gear back and forth across one another. This is a really simple, simple application of a line launching system. It's a mechanical slingshot with a weighted bean bag and basically bailing twine. You can also utilize pneumatic line launchers. Um, or cartridge baseline launchers. All very good options. Know the limitations of them, what the reaches are of them, uh, and make sure that it's uh, a trailing material that's light enough to manage in a water-based application. Okay, so messenger lines have been deployed. Those guys have the end of it. We're just gonna create a midline knot back here. We're gonna attach the tail of our track line to this messenger line, and then let our far side bank guys ferry that track line across. Once it's in place, they'll do their high strength wrap or uh, high strength tie up or tensionless wrap over on that side. We'll apply mechanical advantage to the track line. The track line will be built and in place. The rope that they took across is their ferry line, so that component is already established. We can use the messenger line to ferry across another ferry line, put both of those components in, build our hardware segment for the MCP, and we're ready to roll. Okay guys, that tree right in front of you, that's your high strength tie-off anchor. So go ahead and start wrapping it right there. Don't lose your messenger line. There you go. Don't go too high either. Yep, that's plenty high. When they're tightening up the track line, they're going to use a mechanical advantage. And instead of using a forsake for um, when they build their mechanical advantage, they're going to use a mechanical device to take up um, the slack in the track line. Because if you use a prusik when you have a wet environment, you'll have a tendency for that to slip. And since we don't want anything to slip and we want this to be tight, we we'll use the um, Gibbs ascender in the place of the prusik, and then that's how they'll end up tightening up the track line. Okay, once the track line is tensioned and in place, then we're going to start establishing our movable control point. So we're going to put our gliding pulley or our carriage that's going to ride on the track line. That's going to be attached to a carabiner with a steel ring or rigging plate. Coming off of each side of the steel ring need to be connection points and hardware for the ferry lines. The ferry lines control river left, river right, 
or river near and river far, whichever application you're using. It's good to split these up on this bank so that you don't have everything converging in one area. So the one line that could end up having a haul team or a grouping on the high side or the upriver side of the track line is the ferry line. The ferry line does not need to be deployed downriver from the track line. So once you make this attachment back here on the bank, put that tending crew above or upriver from the track line. The reeving line for the up-down is the bottom side with the pulley. So that line needs to be downriver from the track line. It's going to come in through this low side pulley and to the nose of the boat. If you're putting the two to one mechanical advantage on the nose of the boat, that's going to come out of this pulley, run through another pulley, which is attaching to the nose of the boat, and then get killed up here on the steel ring. As soon as we have these components built on this side, if your messenger line has been managed appropriately, like we just demonstrated for you, once that track line has been pulled across, release the messenger line, pull that midline bite of the messenger line back over. You can attach that midline bite right to this carabiner, and then the far side bank can pull the whole system right over and clip everything right into the nose of the boat and be ready to rescue.